Hi, my name is Sierra, my pronouns are she, hers, and today I'm going to be explaining some pro pronoun protocol in order to make our school and community the most accepting environment it can be. So pronouns are terms used to refer to someone in the third person. For example, she, they, or z. You could say she is speaking, I listen to them, the backpack is theirs. Some people may be comfortable with multiple pronouns. They may introduce themselves and say, hi, uh, I use she, she, her, and they, them pronouns. People's pronouns may also change over time, so make sure to check in every once in a while with your friends and students. Some people may not want to be referred to with any pronouns, so always use their name when referring to them. Gender identity uh, is one's internal sense of gender and is separate from sex assigned at birth and independent of sexual orientation and romantic attraction. Gender identity may also be different than uh, the sex put on uh, power school or in other legal documents. Here are some pronoun do's. Always ask what are your pronouns and set a good example by saying your own pronouns when introducing yourself. You could say, hi, my name is such and such, and my pronouns are he, him, his. That's the proper way to format your pronouns. You could also say he, him. You should have a space in the beginning of the year introductions where uh, you can share your pronouns and where students can share pronouns if they're comfortable. You should encourage all students to say their pronouns, especially cis students, but keep in mind that some people may not want to share their pronouns. For example, you could say, let's all go around the room and say our name, our pronouns, if you're comfortable, and um, what is your favorite flavor of ice cream? Emphasize that the classroom is a safe space and that all pronouns will be respected. Uh, when in doubt, use they, them pronouns in gender neutral language. For example, when calling on someone, you could say the person in the yellow shirt. In general, you should use gender neutral language when referring to a group of people. You could say students, y'all, folks, etc. Some pronoun don'ts. Don't say I use masculine pronouns or I use male pronouns. Instead, you should say I use he, him, or I use he, him, his pronouns. Don't ask what are your preferred pronouns. Instead, ask what are your pronouns. And don't ask what is your gender. Don't assume that a person's pronouns and gender will necessarily line up with the gender in the school data system, power school, or other legal documents. Don't use binary gendered terms for a group of people, like boys and girls or ladies and gentlemen. Instead, you should use ungendered terms, like the terms I mentioned earlier. Don't say he or she if you forget a person's pronouns or do not know their, the identity of the individual you are referring to. You should use they, them pronouns uh, in this situation. Don't use the term he, she, or pronoun it to refer to a transgender or gender expansive individual, unless they specify that it is okay. These terms are often offensive and used as slurs. So if you accidentally make a mistake concerning someone's pronouns or name, uh, you should apologize, correct yourself, and quickly move on. For example, you could, you could say, oh, sorry, I meant they, or sorry, I meant Supri, and then move on. Uh, if someone else made the mistake, you should gently correct or remind them of the person's pronouns. For example, you could say, actually, Alex's pronouns are they, them, or they use they, them for themselves. Uh, in both cases, you should make this section very, very short in order to pro avoid prolonging the misgendered person's discomfort. But it is very important to always correct yourself every time you make a mistake and every time someone else makes a mistake. Here's some, so some practical advice for making your classroom an accepting environment regarding pronouns. As a teacher, sharing your own pronouns will show students that the classroom is a welcoming environment and can set an example for other students to do the same. If you have students make a place card uh, or a name, name tag in the beginning of the year, say that you could also put your pronouns on it. Um, also, understand that some students may want you to use one set of one name and one set of pronouns in the classroom and another set with their family. As a student, respect your peers' pronouns and ask for their pronouns if you are unsure. Some additional resources include the UMass Boston Pronoun Fact Sheet and the GLSEN Pronouns Guide. Thank you. Yeah. Um.